Hey everybody, it's Scotty from Scotty's Record Shop with a uh, video response to Robert Z's question. Uh, what album do you have the most of? Copies of, anyway. Uh, I've seen a lot of great responses to that uh, question. Before I get to it, i got to deal with something here. I don't usually do this because a lot of people do it and it's like, I'm not going to. But, VC Cheers, because it is 90-something degrees right here in Maine. Uh, just to give you an example of weather in Maine. Last, it's, it's Friday tonight. I, I'm not going to post this probably tonight, but it's uh, what, the 31st of May. This should get posted within the next day or two. But um, 90, 92 or something like that, it made it to today with really bad humidity. Um, and this past weekend, it was 43 degrees. That was the high, and it was raining. Matter of fact, where my sister lives, which is about... I don't know, an hour and a half, not even an hour and a half from here, north, towards the mountains. Um, they got snow last weekend. <laughs> not much, but they got snow. It snowed. And this weekend, it's going to be in the 90s. But they always say about Maine, you don't like the weather. Wait a minute, it's going to change. Okay, so there's two reasons I would have multiple copies. First of all, I am going, I'm weeding through my stuff. Um, trying to get rid of some of the extra copies of stuff that I have because like I said in the last video I did for Robert about um, what happens to your stuff when you die um, I just don't think I need that much and on top of that I live in a small apartment and I only have so much room you know I've got a couple of Ikea shelves some boxes upstairs of records I got records and CDs and 45s and stuff all over the place in this house and there's only so much room you know I gotta save a little room for my wife and kids to move around to be fair and um, so some of that stuff I'm gonna move on gotta go through that but one reason that I would have multiple copies would be like one thing I'd mentioned uh, in the last video was like four copies of Jackson Brown saturate before using his first album great record uh, if it's something you don't have and you like that early singer songwriter kind of stuff you gotta go for it it's a great record love I love Jackson Brown stuff anyway um, four copies of it a CD copy uh, a first pressing of that album which has got that burlap textured cover and the original Asylum label, the white label. Then the second pressing, 70s pressing, with the Sky Blue Asylum label. And then a, another vinyl pressing of the 80s um, Asylum um, label. That What is it? It was um, black and yellow, I think, without looking at it. Anyway, why do I need all those? The odds are pretty good. At least I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the 80s pressing. You know, just... I don't need it, but that would be one reason why I have multiple copies. I'm not going to get into, because I have so many things that I like have three or four copies of. I'm going to stay with one album, um, and I don't know, I think this is probably the one I have the most copies of, but we'll go with it. We'll, we'll check it out and see what happens. Okay, um, it would be, I've shown this album before, Revolver from the Beatles. This one is a, with my very bad vision, I'm looking, this is an original stereo pressing, 1966, 66, 67-ish, I know it came out in 66, but then on vinyl we have an original mono pressing, U.S., these are both U.S. pressings by the way. Um, need to replace these. These old paper, these old sleeves get ugh after a while, don't they? Yeah. Got to replace those. And of course from the the uh, remastered um, box set the nice crispy remastered UK pressing. Now when the um, that's a stereo by the way. When the when the mono UK pressing comes out, there will be another addition to that because I'm going to I'm planning on buying that set as well. Staying with the um, current stuff here, this is from the stereo. This is the stereo box set, 19, uh, not 19, uh, 2009, I'm sorry, pressing. So what are we up to? One, two, one, two, three, this is four. Then we have the mono, the mono box set. That's 
five. Then we have, what is this one? This is the original um, from 87, 88, 1987, 88, somewhere around there. That um, original Parlophone pressing of that. And um, this is from a thing called the Millennium Collection. This is a stereo and mono. The neat thing about this is it's on the original. It has a neat look to it, doesn't it? This is a stereo mono U.S. U.S.? Yeah, this was a U.S. album. And now that I'm thinking about it, actually, I... Um, Realized I have two other copies of it upstairs on CD. There's, um, Robert Z. A few of you collectors would know about this. The uh, the Doctor Abbott pressings of uh, Beatle albums and Dylan albums and stuff on on CD. Um, I have uh, the the Doctor Abbott stereo and mono U.S. pressings on CD as well. So what's that like eight or nine pressings? Um, I'm not getting rid of any of these, um, but. The reason, obviously, I'd be picking up a box set, and it's obviously in there. I'm not going to go, oh, I don't need it because I already have it, you know. That'd be kind of foolish. But um, I have a lot of other Beatle albums and stuff that are like that, that I have multiple copies of, stereos and monos and stuff like that. But um, I think that that pretty much, that would be the album that I have the most copies of. So it was a great question, by the way, Robert. So appreciate it very much. Okay, I'm losing my train of thought. It's too damn hot. All right. Until next time, everybody. Peace and love.